name is Honorable Mohamed Gudaji Kazore. If you look at the situation, when I entered the chamber today, as a deputy civilian governor is here, before the floor of the house, I quickly came late, but I rush, I meet her. When I raise my hand, speaker intend to allow me to contribute, but he seek the advice of the deputy speaker. The deputy, deputy speaker told him that he should not allow me to talk. And definitely, Nigeria must to know why the deputy speaker tells the speaker that they should not allow me to question the deputy civilian governor. Because I came with my documents, because all the questions they are questioning her, they didn't question her what is supposed to ask her about the economic of the country. The CBN, they are hidden monies in different accounts, which is the money is enough to solve the nation debt, local and the international, to pound the budget without borrowing, and to even add our foreign reserve. So that is why they're supposed to ask her that question. What is that money are? I'm sure media, you see, we've released some document through the point blank. We released 29 account, account names and number, where the 70 trillion is there. If somebody say that money, there is no that money, in, the money is more than 70 trillion or 80 trillion we are mentioning. But why the leadership refused, allowed me to talk, to ask her a question. That is question number one. Then question number two, if you look at the situation we are going in this country now, the, the people in the village, all of you, you have villages, you know villages. Some villages there is no network. Some villages there is no bank. Our local people that are selling fish, yam, maize, rice, animals, in the villages, they are not using bank. Some they don't have bank account. Look at the frustration is coming in the next days. I want you media to understand this, what I am saying. Indeed, in the next two, one month, this country, the frustration will be high. You have to er educate the government and the people. They say if a man from village come to the local government from his village with his money like 100,000 or 200,000 to change in the bank, they will not give him cash while he came with the cash. He must open account. Somebody from his, from the local government to his village is almost 50 kilometers. Somebody can spend one month, two months, he never come to the local government headquarters. He is doing his business with his money. He doesn't have bank account. When he brought his money to the bank, they will not give him cash as he brought cash. He must open account and give him a, 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 a ATM card. While in his village, no network, no bank, no ATM, no POS. So how village people can do business with the cash? This is what the media is supposed to educate Nigerian people to understand. A village people, how now can you use cash? You cannot use cash and buy and selling in the village market. How are they survive? And majority of the Nigerian people are, 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 are common people. Almost 150 to 130 million people they are suffering. So I surprised this leadership. They refused, allowed me to talk. I don't know why. Oh, because they have been a bit put on the CBN. I don't know. I don't know why. The deputy CBN governor that money hidden in different account in the CBN. That is enough to solve the nation debt, national and international. Why they refuse to open stamp duty central account to move that money to settle the nation debt, to fund our budget without borrowing? This is what I want to ask her. That money in different account hidden in the CBN. If you can see mont, mont, uh, point blank, they released 29 account with the names with the money of 70 trillion. 
is anybody came and, and challenged them that that account number is lie? So this, it means the 70 trillion is there hidden in different accounts, in different commercial banks, including the CVN, but under watch and control of the CVN. So that is why I want to ask her, why has it appeared to open stamp duty central account? Secondly, why MAP run away? Why did the CVN governor run away and refuse to come back and send her? I know be how we invite. We invite the CVN governor. He ran away. He's on the run away. That is why we decide to, to arrest him because already he's on bail and uh, we are not satisfied with the way he is doing. And uh, I want you media to tell Nigerians today, the DSS, they went to court. Some prominent people in this government went to prostrate the court and tell the court they should not allow to give DSS the detention, 60 days detention order of MAPLA because the DSS has a proof. They see some accounts where MAPLA is giving loan to terror terrorists. They have proof that he is funding terrorism. He gives loans to terrorists wh what whom they buy guns and terrorizing the country. So that is why they charge him, they charge him as terrorism financer. And yesterday, I am disappointed with the Khan. I am very disappointed with the Khan yesterday. Very, very disappointed with the Khan. Because when you say Khan, Christian Association of Nigeria, these people are supposed to be on the, always supporting the common people. Because religious, if you say Islam or Christian, is something religion. A religion comes with help and assist to mankind. So how can can are trying to make this to, pol, to make this thing politics? They are trying to protect the CBN Gomlu. Why? Somebody who is prostrating the economy, why there are people in the villages and the, almost 80% of the Christians are suffering in this nation? And they are trying to protect him because of what? Because they collect loans from CBN or what? Why can I pro are trying to, to politicize this issue? It's not an issue of politics, it's an issue of economic. We are not fighting CBN Gomu. We are not pursuing CBN Gomu. We, he didn't block anything for us. But our investigation shows that the money we are borrowing, we have money. We are borrowing government, government money. We have money to solve all the nation debt. We have international and local. And we have money to fund our budget without borrowing. Why the Khan are trying to make this thing politics? That is what is surprising me. People are trying to go and tell the president lie. They are trying to tell the president lie. We supposed to be, I supposed to be supported by the Khan. I supposed to be supported as Nigerian people are supporting this issue. Let allowed us to enter CBN and see those account if we are lying. In the next one month, we will settle the nation debt and we will we will call the journalists and tell them we recover not 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. There is nobody stronger than the president. What happened is the president believed in paper and the reality. I am the only person that will go and brief the president my report, my committee report. What I see, what they are hidden, they block me. Are you the only one in the committee? I am. I no, 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 I'm not the only one. So but why is I, that? You are the only one. I'm. The, I am the secretary to the committee. All the documents are with me, oh. and the president directed me to go and brief him in weekly basis. My advice to president is: he should call me, as she approved this committee between me and him. He should call me and ask me the report of this committee. This is my advice. Let president call me. Why are they blocking me to see the president? 
let the president, you media, let you send the message to reach the president. Let the president invite me. Let the president call me. I am sure if president call me, I will tell him what he will never allow these people to continue running this government in a rubbish way. My issue will not be swept under the carpet because I am sure even this government, they didn't allow this thing to continue. Any man, anybody that emerged as a president in this country, he must invite me. He must support this committee to continue because it's the only way to sustain this nation without borrowing.